Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Who's ready for Halloween? Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you all the super cute Halloween and fall decor that I found at Target and the Dollar Tree, so stay tuned. Okay friends, before I get started, make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree hauls. Now let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Dollar Tree items first, and then I'll show you what I picked up from Target. First off, I have three of this really cute light up decorations. I have this little black pumpkin, and this also came in orange at my store. But I do have to warn you guys that all of these things have glitter, and the glitter does come off. So I'm gonna make sure to put these in a place where my kids are not touching them. So there's the pumpkin. And then I have this really spooky looking owl. They also have this in purple and in orange. And then we have this skull guy, and his mouth actually opens, and his eyes, I think they changed color. Right now they're red and green, but earlier it was blue. Yep, now it's blue and green. So that's really cool. Next up I have these guys. This is a set of 10 little spider rings, and these ones are super cute because they have a little jewel in the center. But I'm actually gonna use these for a craft project coming up. And then these guys are so cute and the detailing is quite amazing for just a dollar. There are felt stickers. They actually have the adhesive on the back so it's really easy um, for the little kids to do a craft. But in this one we have pumpkins, bats, and I don't know if you can see this here but maybe I'll just go ahead and open it for you. We also have the little ghost. Isn't that adorable? So for a dollar you get, you get 15 in the pack. Now in this one, I'll go ahead and open it for you as well. We have a purple witch hat, a black witch hat, and another black witch hat, and then we have a little, a little witch foot. So cute. And then I have two packages of the googly monster eyes. Now these are for another craft project that I'm hoping to do with my kids. And we're gonna need a lot of glue for these eyes. Now these next things are also for my kids. First up, I have a four set of bubbles. Very cute. And then I have this little foam craft kit. And this makes six different spiders. So all they have to do is put the eyes and the mouth and the little legs on. And then I have these guys. Now I'm thinking that my son will probably like this one and that my girls will probably like this one, but we can all share. They each come with four different kits, or you can make four different masks. This one is a Frankenstein, so it comes with the markers and all the stickers. Now at my Dollar Tree, they only had this one. They did not have this one. And they also had this tiara one, Princess Tiara. So it comes with the jewel stickers and the markers. So this will be a fun, easy craft that the kids can do together. Next up, I have some pumpkins and some spider web. Now these are actually carvable pumpkins. They're made of painted styrofoam, so you definitely could put whatever face you wanted. And I really like these ones because they're much cheaper than the ones from Michael's, although they are pretty small, but that's okay. So I'm actually gonna do a craft with these as well. And then we have some spider webbing. Now this spider webbing also comes with, it looks like four spiders. And these are also for an upcoming craft project. I also picked up three of these really large glittery bows. And the glitter on here does not come off, so that's definitely a bonus in my book. But first off, I have this glitter orange one, and these are like a plastic sort of bendable material. And this one is purple glitter with spider webs and spiders. And then this one is a black one with the spiders. And this one totally makes me think of Nightmare Before Christmas, which I'm a huge fan of Nightmare Before Christmas. So these are going to be going on some wreaths that I'm planning on making. And of course, to go along with those, we have three different wire wreath forms. The Dollar Tree is such a great place to shop for wreath making supplies. So hopefully I'll be making a video to show you guys exactly how I make them. I also picked up these two adorable little spider friends. Now you'll probably notice here that I really like cute 
Halloween decorations. I'm not really into the gory sort of decorations or anything like that. That's just my personal taste, but I really like the cute ones. So I got two of these little spiders. Now they also had cats and witches hats. They had a pumpkin and they also had a ghost, but the spider ones and the kitties were really cute. Next up, I have all of this. These are garlands. I'm not quite sure what these are made out of, just plastic, I guess, but they have these in all different colors. So I actually picked up, let's see, two of the purple, and it looks like I only have one of the black. I thought I had two, so I might need to go back to the store, but these are definitely for an upcoming project as well. And they had several colors of these. They had orange and all black, all silver, lots of different choices of garland. Next up, I have these guys. And these are definitely my favorite item out of everything I found at the Dollar Tree. These are mason jar candle holders. How cute is that, you guys? And this unscrews and you can put your own candle in there. So it can be a real candle or a fake candle. And there are so many crafting possibilities with these. You could fill it like with candy corn and make a Halloween one. You could paint it. You could do so many things with these. And these are great for just a dollar. So I have six of those. Now to go along with them, I also picked up four packages of these little tea lights. And I actually have already opened one see if I can find it, because I wanted to make sure that these would actually fit inside of here, and they totally do. So I'll go ahead and show you really quick. I can get in, in there. Yes, so see that totally fits in there. How cute is that? Like I said, so many possibilities. Let me know in the comments down below, what would you do with this? How would you decorate this up? Because I'm always looking for more craft ideas. Now to go along with these, I also picked up this roll of ribbon. I thought maybe I would tie some around the neck and decorate it up for Halloween. Oh yes, and I really think that these would make a beautiful centerpiece as well. Okay, so my last Halloween item from the Dollar Tree is this really interesting looking Halloween themed statue or figurine. You can have like a whole town. They have haunted houses and little pumpkins and things like that. So I'm hoping that this will go into an upcoming craft project. I'm not quite sure if, if it's gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a try. And then I also have these items, which are not Halloween themed, but I picked them up when I was there anyway, because I'm always looking for little craft projects for my kids. So first off, I picked up three of these color forms, and these are a reusable sticker pack. So it has like a little book inside, and you can just put the stickers and make the scene however you want or however the kids want to do it. So for my girls, I got the Shimmer and Shine. They really like that show. And they didn't really have very many um, boy picks, but I went ahead and got the uh, Ninja Turtles. Now also for another little craft project, I picked up the glitter poster. And this one comes with the markers. And this is a Shimmer and Shine. And then this one is Princess Elena. And then this one was the only sort of non-princessy one I could find. Um, I think my son will really like this one. This is a robot. And then in the miscellaneous category, I have another set of these little baskets. I like to organize just about everywhere with these. And then one of these ones that actually goes inside my fridge to organize um, cheese and yogurt tubes and things like that. So that is everything from the Dollar Tree. Now let me show you what I found from Target. Now from Target, I actually got a few fall things as well, but mostly Halloween things. So I'll go ahead and start with the fall themed things first. Now all of these things were from the Dollar Spot, but actually I'm told it's not called the Dollar Spot anymore, but now it's called Bullseye's Playground, I believe. But it's basically the Dollar Spot, you know, right when you first enter the store, that area. So. I first picked up this thankful sign, which surprisingly, shockingly, was only $3. It's a really nice wood frame um, with a printed canvas. Really nicely made. It's beautiful for $3. I love it. Then I also picked up this wooden family sign. On the front side, it is white, and on the back side, it's kind of like a, a greenish color. And this was also three dollars now they had one that said family they had one that said thankful 
And I think they had one that said fall as well. And then I also picked up this gratitude tree. I was super happy to find this because these were sold out last year. But basically it's a little wooden tree that you put together and then it comes with these leaves and the leaves have um, sticky on the back. So your kids or yourself, you can just go ahead and write what you're thankful for on the leaf and then stick it on the tree. So this is definitely something that the family we can all do together. I love this idea. And this was $3. So that's everything I got that was sort of fall themed. Now for the Halloween items. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my favorite items, which are these little painted wooden blocks. These were each $3. And I have a skull and bones, a witch's hat, the candy corn. I love the candy corn. That's probably my favorite out of all four. And then I have the pumpkin. So these are just a painted wooden block. It totally looks like something I might have crafted myself, but I didn't. I'm a huge fan of, of those sort of items. Yes, because I'm not super crafty, but I do try. Next up, I have a bunch of these guys. Now my kids love these little projects. Um, these are basically an excavation kit. So it's plaster that um, they've put into a mold and there's different molds. And you use these little tools to find whatever hidden surprise is inside. So this will keep my kids busy for a long time, but they are messy. So if you can do them outside, that's probably better. So first off, I have a little tombstone headstone. And this one either has a rat or a bat inside. And then I got three of the dinosaur ones, which aren't necessarily Halloween, but I got them when I was there. Let's see, so this will either have a dinosaur head. Yeah, they, yeah, either one of those. It's just a surprise. And then the skull will either have, oh, a spider or whatever that is. Millipede? Yes. Let me know in the comments down below. I think it's a millipede. I also picked up these guys. Now they had these in several different varieties. They had a witch, they had a Frankenstein, they had a vampire, but I really like this little sugar skull themed one. And they actually had a lot of different items that were this theme this year, which is really cute. It's supposed to kind of look like that when you're done. So it comes with the paint. Now, unfortunately I see that this one does not have a paintbrush, which is really a bummer because all the other ones do. But fortunately, I have extra paintbrushes around the house. We can use those. So learn from me when you're at, the, when you're at Target. Make sure that you uh, get one with a brush. Now for the kids, they also picked up this little project. Now these projects I'll probably, you know, space throughout the month or, or two. So they're not going to do all these projects at once. I picked up the little pumpkin. This one comes on a little stand with the paint and the brush. Now they also have these in different um, themes as well. They had the sugar skull one, um, what else? They had a bat, several different choices. And then lastly from Target, I picked up four of these Halloween plates and they're all the same so that my kids cannot fight <laughs> over any one, but they had several different themes. They had the sugar skull, they had a vampire, they had a witch, um, I think they had a black cat as well, but they were all super cute. So maybe on Halloween day, my kids can um, eat off of this and it might become a really fun family tradition. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for another haul. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments down below. Out of all the things I showed you today, what was your favorite item? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.